If you're watching this video, I probably don't have to tell you how much fun the Focus ST is to drive, even in pure stock form. One of my favorite things about this car, it only comes with a manual transmission. It makes a great car for a true gearhead to go out and bang some gears. The one thing lacking, though, is the shifter. The factory shifter has really long throws, doesn't have a real positive feel to it. So today we're going to remove our factory shifter and replace it with Steeda's short throw shifter and bracket kit. The Steeda Triac shifter and bracket kit is actually two separate pieces. The first piece is an aluminum shifter that mounts inside your vehicle, gives you adjustable throws between 32, 38, and 44 percent. The second piece is a billet steel bracket that mounts on the shifter assembly itself under the hood on the shift plate, again shorting throws as well. When we'll put these two pieces together, it gives you real nice solid short throws in your Focus ST. For this installation, you need a small plastic pry bar, Phillips head screwdriver, quarter inch ratchet, 13 millimeter deep socket, 11 millimeter deep socket, 8 millimeter socket, panel removal tool, a couple small picks, needle nose pliers, cutting pliers, 532nd Allen key, flashlight, Dremel tool, and safety glasses. You want to start the installation by making sure the car is on a flat surface and put your e-brake on. Then we're going to start removing the factory pieces. The factory boot right here is going to be removed. There's four clips. You want to reach inside and sort of gently tug up on it to remove them. Once you get the first clip up by hand, using a plastic pry bar will make it a little bit easier. Once the boot and bezel are loose, now you can unscrew the shift knob and remove the assembly. Now you can see your stock shifter assembly. The next step is to remove these two ball studs that actually go up to the cables and go to your transmission. The next step is going to require us to remove this mounting plate here to access the shifter. To do so, this little tab right here is going to have to be cut off. This actually isn't an important part. All it's used for is a screw is put through the center here to hold this in place during shipping when the shifter is first made. Once they're installed in the car, it's actually no longer used, so cutting this off is not going to hurt the transmission or shifter in any way. And you want to cut enough off just so this plate can come off. So follow the curve of this plate. You'll see where it goes through. So basically the back corner here is where you're going to cut, right in front of this little clip. Now that's cleared off, we can remove these four Phillips head screws. So we're going to remove the shift plate. To get the cover plate to release fully, there's two plastic clips. There's one located in the front here, and then another one in the back. The back one's actually underneath this, is kind of harder to get to. It's easier to get to the front. Once you pull the front up, you'll have a little more play in the back. Once you have the plate loose, the last part of getting the factory shifter out, you've got to remove this torsion spring located right here. I'm going to grab with some pliers, pull it up out of the way so you can remove the shifter plate. But be careful, it's a spring, so obviously there is tension on it. There's also a lot of grease on it from the factory, so it's quite slippery. Now the shifter is out of the car, we have to do a little bit of disassembly for some pieces we will need for our Steeda Triax. The first thing you want to do is carefully pry off this plastic pad. Now 
Then you want to slide off these rubber O-rings. The last thing we want to do is pry off this large plastic retainer here. Now you want to remove the cover from the shift lever. This can be a little tricky to get out sometimes. Take some of the extra grease that you have from here and put it over here so it'll slide out a little easier. Now we're going to put the Steeda into the factory cover plate. That goes on a lot easier. Install the O-ring we removed earlier. Make sure that's seated properly. Out of the socket. Press on the socket. And finally, the other plastic socket. Put into place. There we go. Before we begin reinstallation, wherever you install this ball stud is going to determine how short your shifter throws are actually going to be. If you want the shortest throws possible, the top hole is going to be 44%. The middle is going to be 38 and the bottom is going to be 32. We're just going to put it right in the middle. Before we can install our new Cita Triac shifter, we have to make a few more modifications to the console. This little plastic support piece right here, we have to cut this on the edges for proper clearance. And also right in the front end here, we'll have to grind out a small section for additional clearance as well. Now we're ready to install the Steeda shifter into our vehicle. If you're using one of the shorter throws, you want to ground this ear down just a little bit to make sure there's no clearance problems before you reinstall it. Once we have everything in the car, we'll test it to make sure everything clears properly before putting the shifter boot and bezel back in place. I'll reinstall the same way we removed. Carefully move the spring back over. And shift that up so it will fall back into place. It clips in and then we can put the screws back in. Clip one, clip two. Now we can reinstall the shifter arms to the ball studs. It will click right on. Now we'll reinstall the boot. Do not clip the bezel into place. Just put the boot down, put the lock out in place. We'll try everything out here. Okay, once everything feels good, you can reinstall the bezel. Well, not a huge difference. You can actually feel it's already shorter with just the shifter installed itself. Now we'll install the bracket, which can make an even more noticeable difference. The brackets can install on the shifter plate, which is located pretty much down here. 
To get to it, we'll have to remove our stock air box, or in our case, our cold air kit. Whether using a stock box or an aftermarket kit, the installation is basically the same. Remove the air box to access the plate. In our case, we're gonna move the engine cover first to give us a little more room. We'll start by removing the air lint tube. Now we'll move the box. The shifter bracket is going to mount right here on top of our shifter plate. The first step is actually to remove this shifter arm from the plate. Actually slide that back. Now I can put the shift bracket into place. The opening here goes over the factory ball. Let me make sure the new one is going to be closer to the center. This is the base here. Use these two screws that go in the countersunk holes to hold it on. If you have larger hands and have trouble getting underneath the factory shift plate with the bracket, take both screws, put this one in literally one turn, just enough to get it to stay. And again with this, do the same thing, just enough that they stay. If you're real careful, you can slide it on. Once you have them hand tight, grab an Allen key and tighten them down. We're going to put a little dab of Loctite on the retaining nut. Now we can reinstall the shifter linkage. Push down the pop in place. I want to go into your car and try the shifter, make sure it moves freely through the gears before we put everything back together. Check everything, make sure it goes in every gear, including reverse. Obviously we can feel a huge difference. The throws are much, much shorter than they were before. Everything feels good, we can reassemble our air box. And your installation is finished.